All right, well, we're back continuing our review of the Lion King style guide. And uh, from our last video, we had started into the elements chapter and there's a lot of content there. So we're gonna continue down that front. So then we move into icons. And so what is an icon? Well, sometimes that's in reference to a person or a hero, uh, but in many cases, it's really a, they're really in this world, they're more graphic elements that support the story. They might be things that would be found in a scene or draw inspiration of. So here we have, uh, movie-themed icons. Icons inspired by the film should take precedence over generic ethnic icons when they are, <coughs> pardon me, when they are creating, create, creating concepts. Icons should only be used as design accents and should never detract from the main visual focus. So naturally we have the bugs, and in this case the bugs are rendered in a more stylized way. We have the different uh, paw prints. We have the lion paw, the wet look lion, the wet lion paw, or the lion paw claw paw, the pumba hoof, and the timon paw. Then we get into some other more again other icons like sun icons or star icons, and of course the circle of life. And these are all beautifully inked and hand drawn. These came from the artists over at the uh, Disney again Disney Consumer Products Group, which published this guide uh, many years ago at the time of the Lion King. Uh, nature. So here we see uh, flower icons, leaf icons. Again, lots of great line art styles. Um, it's uh, re very reminiscent of wood woodcuts, which is a common uh, a printing technique in Africa, ethnic arts. Uh, African icons. African icons add ethnic flavor and excitement to your designs. Feel free to use the icons shown here or adapt similar icons from other African art resources. Remember, these icons don't replace character art and should only be used in patterns and on borders. So uh, again, some very fun and stylized uh, zebras, birds, snakes, frogs, lizards. And then there's just some great abstract icons that I think are uh, particularly uh, uh, beautiful and uh, have some interesting meaning and value to them. A jungle element. So again, here it's slightly more natural style. What the first part of the section we looked at more wood blocky kind of rough hewn art line line art styles these are more uh finer art more finer pen and line drawings again beautiful jungle motifs flowers lots of great uh, tropical flowers in the uh, jungles of africa and those are portrayed and brought forward here more insects so again the first ones were more uh, look like a uh, uh, native art here it looks more like a uh, biological drawings again very striking uh, they could be done in color as well but these are all showing in black and white uh, then we get into the theme patches so here we see again the logo reproductions the lion king with the uh, adult uh, simba in in uh, in silhouette form pumba timon bug patrol i remember doing a lot of kids stuff with that on there and then they're starting to show patterns with colors. So uh, they kind of link these together. So this is the Just Can't Wait to Be King jungle theme. Here's uh, Simba and Nala Stripe, this is called. Here's Bugs and Paws, this one is called. Here's the uh, triangle patchwork uh, artwork. So again, you see lots of different pattern elements here that begin to show how all these elements are brought together in layers and in repeat prints uh, with, the, of course, the color palettes added in that we looked at the beginning. Uh, now we move into reproduction artwork uh, with these repeat prints. And again, um, if you've studied anything about textiles or have that background in your in your profession or interest, uh, these are very heavily textile prints draw upon repeat print patterns so you can get an all over pattern. So we see the um, wet lion paw, the hyena paw shown here, uh, the pumba hoof. The Timon, little his little delicate meerkat paws. Uh, and then we get into some of the other uh, animal textures like the zebra print or the baby zebra. Uh, here there's the wiggly bug stripe. Again, bringing some of those elements in together. Here's a, a fun kind of centipede pattern, which I guess if you thought about too much might kind of gross out. Uh, here's the uh, realistic giraffe print or the graphic giraffe print. So again, very stylized. I love the bold black and white nature of all these. Uh, here's the cheetah print. That's very on trend right now, even though this came from some years ago. Leopard prints, uh, another tossed dots, some wiggly stripes. 
Uh, again, all of these would not look out of place even on contemporary clothing, whether it was part of Lion King or not, but certainly these are all directly themed to and draw from inspiration in the films. Uh, I recall in our product line, the Bugs did pretty well for kids' products, but uh, many of the adult products, nobody was that crazy on the Bugs. Lots of great floral prints, though. Here's the jungle print again. Uh, I like this sun and flower print with a kind of woodblock quality about it. That's very striking. Uh, kind of the wild jungle, a lot of energy there. Uh, again, the rubber stamp leaf. This borrows from printing techniques used in uh, early societies. Here's a freehand floral print uh, has sort of a Matisse quality about it. The banana leaves, again, a little fun light, light line style there. Uh, the sky story, gosh, just so many great things. It's hard to know what to focus on. We've got to keep moving here. Uh, again, here's sort of a patchwork patterns using different uh, uh, textile patterns kind of blended together. Again, more of the uh, what's called the swoosh stripe and the diamond stripe. Uh, lots of both vertical and horizontal prints and stripes. Really just a whole plethora of very beautiful textile type patterns that can be used uh, on fabrics, but also on uh, graphic liners like in that notebook uh, concept I showed a few moments in the earlier video. Uh, so we're going to kind of get through some more of these. Gosh, really great stuff. I love these little animal cutouts here. Uh, more illustrations. I think these are very fun. I really like that can't wait to be can't, can't wait to be king sequence. And here you start to see some of that fun kind of wacky character art style and these very strange outlines. And then same thing here, the characters are kind of commingled in. The fun hippos and elephants are all kind of hidden among the green leaves there. That's a fun. Those are fun pieces. I like that. Here are some patterns where the characters are directly embedded in the property versus maybe a main character patch on the front, but these are sewn in or worked in here. There's some uh, Rafiki and other characters there. There's the crazy hyenas. This uh, just simple African texture is very subtle. I like that. Uh, more uh, the running Simba running across the page in these great stripe sections. Nala and Simba stripe uh, line version. A uh, little baby Simba there. How Who can resist that? And then the uh, hyena static, it's called. That's kind of a crazy one there. And then finally, um, you know, good designers always know where to find more inspiration. So uh, here, uh, the uh, Disney Consumer Products was recommending a variety of other reference materials that people could look at, whether it's uh, children's books, uh, how the animals got their colors, uh, or uh, books on African art, uh, as well as scenic. So again, we won't go through a lot of detail, but a wide variety of art reference books, as well as then vendors uh, that could help you either secure things if you wanted to buy something for accessories uh, to use for inspiration, and then uh, uh, again, other information or inspiration on textiles. So uh, we're gonna pause there for today, and then we're gonna come back again in our next chapter. So stay tuned for more. Uh, of the Lion King style guide. Thanks for joining us.